Glória a Deus. Posso tomar mais uma mão? You've got What's them. Up, you're bro? rapping always, bro. You're rapping always, my man. How's everything? Good, man. Very good. You're on the way to the doctors now, just to get uh, just to get cleared. And so I feel like I'm good, you know. But I just want to hear it from them. You know, I don't want to test anything. I don't want to be. You know, I don't want to. I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to go through this again. You know what I mean? It's been a hard couple of weeks, Marcus. But I'm, I'm there. I'm in a good spot. And I'm coming through it. I don't think people you? have been aware that mindset can physically heal you as well. And the fact that you've got such yeah. this powerful mindset, it's physically healing you right now where people would have thought, this guy's out for a year, this guy's done. But within four weeks, you're talking about getting up and doing some sparring and some boxing. How, how does that happen? Yeah. You know, I tell you what, though, I'm... I'm being careful with it. I'm listening to what my doctors are saying and I'm doing everything else I can physically do. I'm not pushing it too far. After seeing what happened to Weidman just recently, like it's in the back of my head, we go in here and they say, oh, you know, maybe the bone's not connected again and you got to go through this again. Look what happened to Weidman. So I'm just, I don't think that's the case though with me. I know that's not the case to be honest, but I'm, I am a little bit nervous when I'm pulling up to this doctor's now, you know what I mean? You just don't know what's going to be said. But I feel, like I said, I feel confident. I'm staying healthy. I'm staying fresh. I'm staying on me, on me walk. And, uh, and I feel good, man. I feel good. Well, I've noticed you've looked a lot happier in the last couple of weeks since the clan has arrived in California. Eh? Yeah, that's and how it, is that's good it. to see the little fella? Could you believe how much he's grown? Ah, stop. It's unbelievable. The two, the two brothers, the, the McGregor brothers, my little daughter as well. It's great to have the family out here. And uh, yeah, they're back there in the, in the villa in the Beverly Hills Hotel waiting for me. We're at the taking up shop at that Beverly Hills Hotel. It's right next to Floyd's. Ga Floyd has a gaffy ball after their fight. I've been debating breaking into it. <laughs> you know, as, like, as he come over the back wall. 12, he doesn't, yeah. uh, he doesn't, he, he, there's no one in the house. There's nobody right. in the gaff. He bought the gaff for 27 million or something and then the property tax. And yeah. the gaff is literally just deserted. Now, no one's in the thing. But I'm literally right next door to it. And there's an art piece in there. There's an art piece in the house that he bought. You know, he, he, he took this picture. It's like shattered. It's me and him. So I'm on one side. He's on the other side. And it's like shattered glass. I want to get into the gaff somehow. And take <laughs> a picture at it. You know what I mean, but... I'm still a bottle of proper I'm still down the wreck on the gas just there, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well just you know, someone comes by to clean I clean the pill every few days. That's the only person that goes into it. We just have to roll yeah. up when they're walking in. Yeah. And then I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the laws are probably you know yourself. I'm not trying to lose a visa here. Yeah. Again. So what's so what's next, boss? You're just gonna you're just gonna heal up here until the end of October, then head back over to the motherland, and then what's the next step? Day by day, Marcus, isn't it? What what else can I do? I just have to take it day by day. You know what I mean? I'm looking forward to getting back in. You know, I'm watching, you know, all these little fools talking and that little middleweights they are, little former middleweights. Yeah, Kelvin Gastelum's fighting tonight. He's five foot nine. Yeah. With a 71 inch reach. I'm actually bigger physically set than Kelvin. And he's he's fighting about middleweight. I could, I'm going to just keep going up. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a, I don't know what way I am now, but I'm at the see what I am on the scales yeah and then just go from there day by day yeah and have you, have you still got Tristan over there with you giving you all that Tristan is at the going back Tristan is at the going back and I, but I have another guy Eric the chef is here so we're still staying on the vitamins I'm still staying on the nutrition a little bit now you know what I mean I'm at the break in a little bit I have to get the calories into me and uh and you know that's it but now everyone's gone home the whole team has gone home the whole yeah. team is at the going home now and you know, I'm looking forward to getting back myself, to be honest with you. Come here, Marcus. It's great to chat to you. And this isn't... I'm still going to go on your podcast, bro. I appreciate the support. Um, I really mean that, man. Serious. I'm here at the hospital. Big J Ballers back on, on, on site. Hold on. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. Say what's up to the fans. Say, say what's up to the fans. What's, what's up, J Ballers? That was Marcus. Goldie Glocks. Big J Goldie Glocks. Big J Goldie Glocks. <laughs> Come here, I'm at this hospital now. I'm going to go in now because I'm waiting on me, yeah? Thanks so much, guys. Right, I'll chat you later, right? See you later, Marcus, yeah? Have a good day, man, right? Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Let's go in this now.